Hello everyone, welcome back. The topic for today is infected versus the affected dentine. Now my many further videos, it will have this term that is infected dentine or affected dentine. So because of that, you should like know what exactly infected and affected dentine is. So in this video, we're going to compare between this infected versus the affected dentine. So now why do we need to see about this infected and the affected dentine? It is basically the terms which are related to your carious tooth. Now over here, this is the tooth which is caries affected. So the first area which is getting affected by the caries will be your enamel as it is the most outermost layer of your tooth. The next will be your dentine. So this yellow portion over here is your dentine. And the last area which is getting affected by the caries will be your pulp. Now as we are going to see about the infected and the affected dentine. So over here, the caries lesion, it is like stopped till the dentine itself. So now in this also the carious dentine. So we can like term it as a carious dentine. So in this the carious dentine also have various layers or you can say they are, there are various zones of this carious dentine. So those zones or the types of this carious dentine are nothing but your infected dentine and affected dentine. So now over here this is the picture of your tooth which is caries affected. So in this now you can see your tooth that is your enamel it is destroyed and the next like structure of your tooth that is the dentine it is getting destroyed by that carious lesion over here pulp is not involved it is just like limited to the dentine now in this the outermost layer of your dentine that is your carious dentine is known as infected dentine because now in this the dentine it is infected by that bacteria and because of that it is known as infected dentine the next layer over here this is known as affected dentine so the dentine it is affected by this infected dentine so this is like a way that you can remember about this infected and affected so the uppermost layer will be your infected and the innermost layer will be your affected dentine so over here the tooth first is affected at the enamel then it will be the infected dentine and then it will be the affected dentine so now we are going to see about the differences so in this first is your infected dentine in this there will be this necrotic zone and over here there is this contaminated zone in your infected dentine and this three and four so you can see over here this is the demarcation so this area is your infected and over here this area is your affected dentine so in this affected dentine you have the demineralized zone and the translucent zone and over here beneath that affected dentine you have south dentine and the tertiary dentine so basically these are like the various zones of the carious dentine that we have already seen in our first year now this differences it is like the most commonly asked short answer question so you should know what exactly are the differences between your affected and infected dentine now as we have discussed earlier so affected will be the one which is present beneath your infected dentine so the first difference between your affected and infected will be so the affected dentine it is the deeper layer of your carious dentine now over here so this is the enamel so this white portion is your enamel and over here the yellow portion is your dentine so the enamel it is like affected by your carious like lesion then the dentine is affected by it so the uppermost layer of your carious dentine will be your infected dentine so because of that over here this is the superficial layer so in this beneath the superficial layer you have your deeper layers so the deeper layer is your affected dentine so this one is the first difference the next difference will be the affected dentine it is dark brown in color now over here you can see properly so the color difference over here so this is the dark brown color for your affected dentine whereas the infected dentine it is light brown in color so over here only you can see the difference between the colors in the infected and the affected dentine the next will be the consistency so in this the affected dentine it is hard in consistency and infected dentine it is soft in consistency so now this is like the most important point when you're removing the caries so now if you have done your like preclinicals and the clinicals so now in that also your staff members will tell you that you have to remove all the caries which is having the consistency which is soft so because of that you need to remove the dentine which is infected and you can leave the carious lesion which is hard in consistency because that is nothing but your affected dentine so over here the deeper layer that is your infected dentine it is a it is having like 
consistency which is hard and the infected dentin it is having the consistency which is soft so this is the next difference between your infected and the affected dentin the next one will be how sensitive it is to the touch so in this the affected now affected is the deeper layer so the affected dentin it is present beneath your infected dentin so because of that it is sensitive to touch and over your infected dentin it is not sensitive to touch that means now when you are instrumenting it so when you are doing or when you are removing your caries so now you have removed your enamel caries then you are moving towards the dentinal caries so now first you are removing your infected dentin so that time the patient they won't feel that sensitive to touch or they won't feel that pain at the time of instrumentation and then you go towards your affected dentin but at that time the patient will say i am feeling little pain that that is because of now you are going near to your pulp so because of that the patient will be sensitive to touch at the affected dentin and they will not be sensitive to touch at the infected dentin so this is the fourth difference between your infected and the affected dentin now the next difference is in this the affected dentin so in this the collagen it is reversibly denatured that means the collagen fibers they are still intact in this affected dentin whereas in the infected dentin the collagen it is irreversibly denatured so in this this is the main like point why you need to remove your infected dentin properly to have a good like outcome of your treatment that you have done to the patient the next will be no bacteria are found in this zone that is your affected dentin so over here the zone over here there are no bacteria and because of that only you can keep your affected dentin caries lesion as it is because there are no bacteria which are present in this area and and because of that only it will not harm the patient but now in the infected dentin it has a high concentration of bacteria and because of that only it is known as infected dentin because now over here you have very high concentration of bacteria the next difference is now the affected dentin it is not stained by the caries detecting dye whereas the infected it is stained by the caries detecting dyes so there are various like dyes which are present to detect the caries which we are going to see later on in the like video of diagnosis of your caries and stuff so in that also we are going to see about this various dyes so just the point you need to remember is so the affected dentin they are not stained by that dye, by that dyes and the infected they are stained by those like various detecting dyes the next one is so the affected dentin it is capable of remineralization whereas the infected dentin it is non remineralizable so because of that only you need to remove your infected dentin properly so the last point will be the one which i am again and again repeating that is you should remove your infected dentin whereas the affected dentin it can be retained it is not compulsory that you need to remove your affected dentin and now depending on this two only you like are going to plan about if the lesion it is very deep and it is like going towards the pulp or it is like approaching pulp so in that case only like depending on this affected and infected dentin only you are going to plan your treatment that will be whether you are going for indirect pulp capping or whether you are going for direct pulp capping so because of that you should know like what exactly this infected and affected is so basically you just need to remember that you have to remove the soft consistency dentin that is the infected dentin and you can keep your affected dentin because now the clinical difference you will feel is when you are removing the caries lesion so when you are removing so when you are doing the instrumentation so when you are removing the lesion so at that time you will feel the soft caries lesion so that is nothing but your infected dentin and then when you will feel that hard consistency dentin so that is nothing but your affected dentin so when you feel that you have reached that hard consistency dentin so at that time you need to stop your instrumentation and you can feel that with the help of a spoon excavator also so this is the difference between the affected versus the infected dentin so that was all about the infected versus the affected dentin i hope you found this video helpful and if you did then please like comment share and do subscribe to my channel thank you so much